Hi everybody, it is New Year's Eve. Today is actually my brother's birthday, so happy birthday. It is the last day of 2014. I was going to talk about my resolutions until I realized that I didn't have any because I haven't thought about them. I don't really know what I'm going to change in my life. I just kind of let change happen. So instead, I'm going to do a recap of my past year. I kind of started off the year apparently being very aggravated that people were writing lists about what trends women had in fashion that men didn't like. On February 8th, Sarah and I went to Target and we found a book called Dragons Love Tacos. And since we both love dragons and tacos, Sarah read it aloud in the store. And it was hysterical. Speaking of tacos, we also took my bell piggy bank to Taco Bell for a pun. Because Taco Bell. Also in February, my family dog that we had had since I was in first grade passed away. He was very old, but he was very loved. We still think of him as part of the family, and we miss him a lot. But we know he's in a, a really good place right now, so... I started watching Parks and Rec this year, which was really exciting, except now it's gonna end, and I am really torn up about it because I only got into it last this past year. Last March, during spring break, I went to Disney for four days with my mom, and that was extremely fun. Two of my best friends were doing the Disney College program at the time, so I got to see both of them in action. On March 16th, my mom shared this picture of me from when I was three and in ballet and did Under the Sea as one of our dances, and I have to say it's just one of the most adorable pictures of me because I am great. My parents got a new puppy! His name is Chester, he's a monster, you've seen him in the videos before. I'm really glad that my parents have him. I spent a lot of time with my hedgehog, like a lot of time, and I guess it's good because she's my pet, but a lot of time. On April 29th, I was really excited that Prince Harry is single, and if he still is single, I'm still very excited. Then again, if he's not single, I'm very happy for him. May, I finished my sophomore year of college. On June 26th, my dad tried to hard boil an egg for my hedgehog in the microwave, and the egg exploded, and it was a mess. But it was hysterical. Then, towards the end of July, my mom and I finally made our dream vacation to Key West. We saw an episode of Man vs. Food Nation a couple years ago where Adam goes to Key West. And ever since then, my mom and I were like, well, Key West is only, you know, five hours from here, so we might as well go. We finally did. I went to Sloppy Joe's during the first night, I think, of the Ernest Hemingway Lookalike Contest, or otherwise known as the Papa Lookalike Contest. It was fantastic. The Key West was so hot and humid, but it was so sunny. Everyone was super nice. Food is served really, really quickly there, and I, I don't know why, but it's a really good thing. The food is always good, too. Fish there, liter they literally pull the fish out of the water and put it on a plate to serve you. Of course, they cook it in the middle there, but it's really fresh, and I totally suggest you try going to Key West at least once in your life. It's a fantastic place to go. And the Hemingway house has somewhere between like 45 and 56 toad cats. Um, yeah, I took a picture of as many of them as I could. Two really, really terrible things happened this year. First, on August 9th, Michael Brown was unarmed and shot and killed in Ferguson, Missouri, as we all know. And then two days later, on August 11th, and this, this hit me really hard, um, Robin Williams passed away. It's really hard for me to talk about. It's really hard for me to think about. Sometimes I just completely forget that he's gone, and and then a realization just sits on my shoulders, and I, I bawl. I, the thing about Robin Williams was that he was a celebrity and a comedian through my parents and, and their experiences with movies and comedy and through my experiences with movies and comedy and, and children younger than me and people in between me and my parents. And it, it's just a very, very hard thing to deal with. It just kind of feels like an, a really cool uncle that I absolutely loved being around just is gone. So... Around Thanksgiving, I did one of those friendship Facebook video things for Sarah because she's honestly like one of the best friends I've ever had. And of course, I picked one of my favorite pictures of us, which is a picture of us on Splash Mountain where Sarah decided we were going to uh, make crazy faces. And then when we got to the top to, to go down the big drop, she 
bailed and <laughs> just turned into real fear. That's exactly what she told me. She's not allowed to tell you otherwise. On December 14th, I turned 21. I'm a real girl. I started Yes Please by Amy Poehler. It's fantastic. It has all of her humor in it. Uh, it's it's written exactly the way she speaks. You should read it. I'm not done with it yet. So so go buy it and read it, and then you can tell me what you think of it, and I'll tell you what I think of it, and we'll have this great big like book club. It'll be fun and fabulous. I also uh, dyed my hair blue this this uh, December after I turned 21. Have a good year. Have a good day left, I guess. And I wish you all the best in 2015. See you next week.